Next question we're going to be looking at here is um, Helen invests $11,000 <coughs> as simple interest in a simple interest bank account that pays 4.5% annually. How much will be in a bank account after 12 years? So what do we have? We've got that formula, which was I is equal to PRT over 100. Now we're gonna write down what we know. So what's our, um, how much will it be in her bank account after 12 years? So our rate, R, is 4.5%. Our time is equal to 12 years, okay? And then the principal, which is how much she invests, is gonna be $11,000, okay? Principal is how much you invest, um, in this situation. And now we're gonna substitute it into this formula. I is equal to 11,000 times 4.5 times 12. And then you divide that by 100. Why do you divide by 100? Because it's coming from the 4.5%. What's 4.5%? 4.5 divide by 100. And that's where you're getting that and you're bringing that together. That will give you your answer when you put that in your calculator. Question number three. So question number three, it is a very similar question to question number two. In this case, it says, yeah, how long does Kim need to invest $10,000 at 2.2% uh, 2 per annum simple interest in order to produce $1,000 interest? So this question is asking for what, how long? So what's that referring to? Time. So we're gonna write down what we know. So we know in this formula is I is equal to PRT over 100, okay? What do we know? We know the rate is 2%. It says, how long does Kim need to invest $10,000? So principal is $10,000. And then also to produce an interest, interest is I, of $1,000. What are we trying to find out here? T. Okay, I'm gonna put a question mark. Next thing is to put our, substitute into our formula. So, what's our I? A thousand is equal to, what's our P? 10,000 times the rate, which is 2%, which is two over 100, times the T. Now, this is involving solving. You have to know how to solve. So I'm just gonna do this by my hand. So we're gonna cut and cut, cut here and cut that one. And now we're left with 1,000 is equal to 200 T. Okay, how do I solve for my T? I have to remove this 200. And what's the 200 doing to the T? It's timesing. So I gotta divide. So cancel, cancel, what am I left with? So 10 divided by two, is going to be equal to 5. So t is equal to 5. And that is what we get as our answer there for this question. So you've got to read the question, write down what we know, the formula, write down what we know, what are we trying to find out, t, which is a question mark, and then we're going to substitute it in there. We then realise that t is the unknown. What do we do when we try to find out the unknown? We just solve it. So it's like saying 2t is equal to 10. How do you solve for t? You're going to divide this top by two and this other one by two and get five, okay? That's like asking that kind of question. You should know how to solve, okay? So it's going back to algebra and solving.